What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you three powerful technical analysis patterns that you can use to really exponentially change your trading. Now I'm going to share them with you and the two examples or the first two examples I'm going to share are going to be of continuations, which I recommend anybody new to trade in or not getting consistent results that you're looking for, stick to continuations. And then I'll show you one example of a reversal pattern. So the first example we're going to take a look at is on New Zealand dollar USD. Clearly we can see this market structure is to the downside. We've broken this structure but look to the left slightly. The previous lower high, which is a key area, it's not a significant line or a specific line, should I say, it's an area price is failing to break above this. So how we can see the structure of the market is clearly still to the downside with a lower high formed, a lower low formed, and then price coming back to this key level for a retest slash double top. Now, what we don't want to do is be taking sales from this level immediately because what we need to see happen is the market to respect this key level, leave this key level, then create the lower high before the continuation. So what most retail traders would do is they will look at this and say to themselves, well, now look, this is a nice engulfing candle. It's time to sell this structure. What you have to understand, any sell that you take from this point, your stop loss will need to be in a safe place, which is above structure. Now, if you check the range from where your entry to your stop loss will be is incredibly big. So what we need to do if we're looking for sales is wait for price to come back for a retest and continuation or create that lower high just to decrease the range of this stop loss before selling. So let's just wait and see what happens. Let's remove the drawings. Let's pop in our key level again and let's see what price action does. So as you can see, price has come back to this level. We have strong bullish pressure into this key level. Now, what we're looking for is an indication of bearish sentiment, so wick rejections or price failing to break above this structure. So we saw that price attempted to push down and failed. We still closed bullish, which is not enough. So let's continue. Now we have a final break close above structure. So how do we look at this? Well, most people will say, well, you know what? Price is broken out of this structure, but surely it must be sales because the market structure is down. What do I do in this occasion? Well, a lot will wait for price to come back in, retest and continue X, Y, and Z. But sometimes what you have to do is walk away or look away for three seconds, five seconds, look back and reevaluate. Let's say now it's a new morning. Would you be reevaluating this chart as sell buys? Probably not. You're going to join the dots and you're going to start to see prices made structural lows, broken above previous structural highs, made new higher highs, higher lows and higher highs. So for that reason, we can now start to look for buys. Price has recently broken close above this structure, as you can see with this illustration, with strong bullish pressure. So what are we looking for? Clearly buys. But can we buy the market now? Absolutely not. We need price action to come back to a key level to confirm this continued bullish pressure. And that will be signs of evidence of bearish depletion, then showing signs of bullish continuation with wick rejections, bullish candles, X, Y, and Z. The best place to take these trades is at these key levels so we can get our stop loss below them because we know they're like a brick wall and more often than not, they'll hold price at these levels. A lot of retail traders will end up taking this trade like this with a very big stop loss. And then as you can see, the range of this is just too big. It's not worth sitting in the drawdown when we can wait patiently for price to come back. So let's see what happens. So price is coming back to this level. We're respecting it. We can see that price is rejecting this level, but this is not the time to take the trade yet because we're still rejecting it and coming back to the previous level where this bullish candle closed. We want price to come down deep into this level and then show us continued signs of this bullish pressure. So now, as you can see, price is still consolidating around this level. We want to see price coming deep. And this is the pattern that we want to illustrate right now. A strong bearish candle into this key level and what we now need to see. And this is confirmation that this is a strong level is a depletion in that bearish pressure. And as you can see here, price is respecting this key level. And now we're starting to see the rejection that we need. So I want you to zero in on this. Price was rejecting. And with this rejection, you can see strong bearish pressure to the downside. Now, if we remove all drawings, when you look at this, you probably will say to yourself, or a lot of traders will say to themselves, well, look at this. Price is attempting to push up, is failing. And now we have a strong engulfing candle to the downside. It's time to short this market. Stop loss above structure and then go for your targets, whatever it may be. 
But is this a right approach? Absolutely not. Look here, the market still hasn't shown a true sign of a reversal yet. So now we take this trade as a clear break and retest of the previous structure. So we can remove this as a sell opportunity and wait patiently for the market after that bearish pressure to deplete and now start to look for that bullish pressure into this structure. Once this level is created, then what we can do is go in for the trade. Safely put our stop loss below structure. Let's call this 15 pips. And then we can go for our one to three target. Now, why does this work more often than it doesn't work? Because structure is structure. If the market is making higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, then technically the next phase of this market should be a higher high. And then we can go into this trade with confidence, knowing that more often than not, when we take this trade, the likelihood of price going in the direction we expect it to go is going to be extremely high. So pattern number one, look for the break of structure, identify the trend, wait for the market to smash back into a key level. In this occasion, bearish pressure, look for the depletion, wick rejections and bullish pressure and then go for the kill. Let's move on to pattern number two. Pattern number two, Euro USD. What can we see with the structure of this market? Well, we can clearly see the structure is down. When the market structure is crushing previous lows to the left, this is a strong sign of bearish sentiment, meaning we are looking for sells. So what should we do in a situation like this? Well, we need to mark a level in the market. Now you have to understand there's different phases to every structure. When the market has pushed as deep as it has, more often than not, your safest trades are going to come around looking for the market to pull back to around 50% before a continuation. These slight exhaustions here are not enough to warrant a continuation sell from these key levels. At times, you can get some good trades, but that's not how structure works. You want to see price pull back to make these clear lower highs before that continuation. Now, let's see what retail traders would do, or should we say the majority of traders would do. They will draw a level like this, and then they will patiently wait for the market to give them the first signs of a sell opportunity, i.e. a bearish momentum candle. Then they take the trade with an instant execution or however you execute the trade and go for their one to three, one to two, whatever target they're going for and execute the trade like this. Now, this is not wrong because sometimes you can win these trades, but the probability of winning these trades are pretty low in the long run. As I said, because of the strong push phase market structure that has developed, we want to see price pull back deeper or we want to see a second pattern that I'm about to teach you today. As you can see now, when you take this trade, you will get a reaction and price may go in your direction. But more often than not, price will come back to stop you out. And most people call these stop hunts. Most people call these breakouts, break back ins. They call these whatever you call it. I don't really care to be honest with you, but here you go. So now the aggressive entry has turned against you and you lose this trade. Now, what we're looking to see happen is two things. We want price to pull back deep enough to give us that true correction on this structure for that exhaustion continuation. If we don't get that, then the second pattern I'm about to teach you today will look like this. We want to see price break back into structure. The reason for this is because the behavior of this structure tells us a lot. We have a strong push phase, exhaustion phase, pullback of this push phase, and then a continuation higher high. Technically, if this structure is going to continue in a bullish phase, then what we should suspect is the market come back to retest these levels or at least create a higher low for that continuation to the upside. But the overall sentiment of this market is bearish. And along with that sentiment, we have the bears showing their dominance, strong bearish pressure back into structure. So what are we waiting for? Well, you know what we're waiting for. We're waiting for price to come back to our key level again to show signs of bullish pressure into that key level and then a depletion of that bullish pressure with this wick rejection. Once you get this evidence, this is sufficient to take this sell opportunity. Why? Because price has already illustrated to us that it's attempted to go bullish and failed. It's broken back through this key level, come back to this key level as a strong bullish candle and then failed with this depletion. Now look at the slight variation as well. You always have to be adaptable. When you see that your stop loss range has increased dramatically because you want your stop loss in a safe place, then 
sacrifice some of your reward. Go for a one to two. Because the truth is profits are profits. And we want to maximize our potential opportunity of winning our trades. And if that means sacrificing one R to gain two R, then that's absolutely feasible. So let's take the trade. You can see here, we clearly smash this. And if we do go for the one to three, just as an example here, you can see we'd have smashed that also. So that's pattern number two, very powerful. If price comes back to a key level, you want to see price leave and come back for that retest. If price breaks above that level, then you're expecting the higher low continuation up. If you don't get that higher low continuation and you get this break back in, then that's a strong sign that sellers are in the market, we'll wait for that retest and then go in for that sell. So for our third and final pattern, we're going to take a look at gold. Now, as you can clearly see here, I have two boxes drawn one to the left, one to the right. And for those that are following me on Instagram, you would have seen me speak about this recently. What are we looking at here? Well, we're looking at reversal trades. Now, for most of you, you may know this. We don't really use it in Forex. But once the market has come off a big uptrend or a big downtrend, we usually call a consolidation phase at the top or at the bottom. We usually call this phase more of a distribution or accumulation phase. Now, what that simply means is that off of the back of an uptrend, the bulls may be taking profits, the bears may be entering the markets, there's a tug of war, etc., etc. And what we're expecting the market to do more often than not off of the back of an uptrend is to see the market go down. Off of the back of a downtrend with the accumulation phase, which is at the bottom, we're usually looking for the market to go up. Now, does it happen all the time? Absolutely not. But it's a numbers game and you're just taking the trades as part of the process. So what are we looking at for this example? which is a reversal pattern, is we're looking to see the market structure push into the upside. This is not a trend. This is just seeing price push into the upside. Once you see that there's a tug of war or bulls or bears are not really in control of the market, but that there's more bearish pressure than bullish pressure, and how we identify that is seeing the market making structural lows as opposed to higher highs, then what you're waiting to see is for the market to break that structure. Once you get that break of structure, you're simply waiting for the market to pull back to that consolidation, that level where the price was ranging, and then looking for that strong bullish or bearish candle if we're buying at the bottom of a downtrend. So in this occasion, bullish candle into structure to show strong signs of depletion, then you can go in for the trade. Stop loss above the wick is completely fine, and then you can go for your one to three risk to reward ratio. And this happens a lot. And just for this example, so that you don't think that I'm making it up, we do have a second example over here to the right. Again, we have strong bullish pressure to the upside. We do have a push phase in this market structure and a lower high, but we did enter another consolidation slash range sideways moving market. But again, you can see more bearish pressure as we're making structural lows. And then we have this strong break of the structure with a retest. And once you get that retest, you're looking for that bullish pressure into this consolidation with a depletion, and then you're placing your stop loss above this wick, and then you're going for your one to three risk reward ratio trade. Now, there are ways to scale down to your lower time frames to look for more significant entries, potentially with smaller stop losses or tighter entries, whatever else, but we're not gonna go into that on this session. But we have three patterns here. On New Zealand dollar USD, you can clearly see we have the clear break of structure, the pullback deep into a key level with strong bearish pressure and a depletion for that continuation to the upside. We have Euro USD where we have price coming back to this key level with a break of this structure indicating a higher high, potential higher low, but failing with the overall sentiment of the market being bearish and a break back into structure, retest, depletion of bullish pressure indicating bearish sentiment and a continuation. And then finally, we have the reversal patterns, which is strong uptrend, consolidating range in market with structure indicating it's not making new highs within that consolidation, a break, retest, bullish pressure with depletion, showing signs of bearish sentiment again, and a continuation. And again, structure to the upside. We now see a sideways moving market consolidation range with structure not making new highs, a break of that structure, strong bullish pressure into this structure, with a depletion indicating bearish sentiment and a continuation. So they're the three patterns, and I promise you, if you can apply this to your trading, it's going to be a game changer. 
As I always say, if you've enjoyed the content, guys, please smash that like button, subscribe, and until next time, take care.